listen. Watch until the end. You will be consumed by the loss. Saturday, the 5th of September, <laughs> Tokyo. Shuichi, Kuru, t i t a t e k o r a r e n a i d e s h o Tomoko should be studying. So, t a yo, Mo, so you, but she's home alone with other things on her mind. Shuichi, Moshi, Kono, no, 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 <laughs> that this isn't their last night on the earth. Dare? Dare k a i r u n o Shuichi? Ima kara kite kure nai? Kuai yo. Hitori de taku nai yo. Shuichi? Ne, Shuichi? She hopes it's something outside. Tada no kase. A tree in the wind. But there is no wind. Oh, no. A s a t s u k i r y o Friday, the 16th of September. Paper building? Sorry? You newsman? Yes? Uh, well, I write lifestyle features, not news, but, um, yeah. yeah. I start? Late finish, actually. I'm going home to sleep. Ah, so the show, eh? I have a story for you, newsman. Oh? A death. A strange death. On this very road. I stop. Red light. Motorbike up beside. And he. f a l l down. He dropped the bike? No. f a l l He's lying. Like this. I. <laughs> 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 Gasping. Yes. Bur- bur- And his visor. That is a helmet. Here. It happened. Exactly here. The oil. Slow black oil coiling into the drain. Darkness. Returning to darkness. He died then. I felt it, and the helmet just fell away. His face, devil. Hanya. Hanya men. You understand? A mask of fear. Yeah. His heart, they say. His heart? But he was a young man. Gakse san desu yo. Could have been drinking, taking drugs? Nothing. Nothing. Okay.、Um, when did this happen? Saturday, September 5th.、Uh, what time? Then, about 10.、Um, can I take your name? Take my card. Domo. You take my story now? Maybe, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See? Yoko, that's you in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, that's you, baby girl. That's you. Hi. Hey. Oh, Daddy's home. Hi. Wow, my sunshine's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you made the deadline. I'm just getting my teeth. How's your night? Well, she slept through till five. 
Did you? Never <laughs> go. You want some breakfast? Oh, but, oh, no, thanks. What's up? Oh, nothing. Usually after an all-nighter, you buzz, so what is it? Uh, I've picked up a story. OK. But it might be a little <laughs> close to home. <laughs> right. Tomoko Oishi. <laughs> oh. The night she died, a 19-year-old boy died too, also of heart failure. Tony the witness said his face was a mask of fear. Exact words were in use. Coincidence. Well, within a block of each other. I haven't seen the coroner's report yet, but the time of what? Well, for a start, you know, Rena is still in mourning and investigative work with a language barrier. I could hire an And it's, you know, what? it's a dead girl, Mitch. You know, we came here to get away from all of that. No, but I'm not <laughs> looking for a body this time. I'm looking for a pattern. What if there are more cases? If my hunch is right, hunch. this could save you sound life. Like a hack. Well, because that's what I am. Well, if you have to do it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, mm. just don't bring it home, okay? Okay. I promise. No dark clouds. Ryuji! Mitch! Hey. hey, long time. I know. You wanna eat something? Saturday, uh, no, grab the 17th okay. of October. I got the photos. How? Oh. Associate of mine chases ambulances. But what's your uncle? Not exactly lifestyle, is it? Oh, there's personal. My wife's colleague lost a teenage daughter and. Um... She's looking for answers. Mm. What's in it for you? Me. Don't worry, in Tokyo it's fine to fantasize about schoolgirls. You haven't changed, have you? You've always got to poke the anthill. It's my job. Social philosopher. Anti-social philosopher, more. <laughs> <laughs> so, lifestyle, huh? House, and wife and baby. How's that working out for you? Great, actually. <laughs> are you going to ask me how I am? How are you? Curious. <laughs> so, two kids in a locked car. No violence. No drugs or alcohol. Heart failure. What's wrong with this picture? <sighs> His trousers are down. And a little white panties. They were about to have sex when <sighs> something changed. Oh my god. The boy's face pushed against the driver's window. The girl forced between headrest and passenger door. Both distorted beyond recognition. A mask of fear. Yeah. What was the time of death? 10 p.m. Same as Tomoko and the biker. Four kids die exactly the same time in exactly the same way. Who's the biker? Shuichi Iwata. Went to the same academy as the boy in the car. The passenger, Haruko Tsuji, went to a girl's school. With Tomoko? No. So what's the connection? I don't know. Um, a drug, a toxin, a virus, something environmental. A videotape? What? In the 90s, there was a series of unexplained death. Heart failure. But each of the young victims was known to the last, like a chain. And the link was a VHS tape. He <laughs> frightened them to death. Not immediately. They watched the film. Then, ring ring, the phone rang. And seven days later, they died. Bollocks. A frog in a well does not know the great sea. Yeah, very profound, but I write news, not fairy tales. Just follow the chain. Sunday, the 18th of October. So, um, how do we 
How do we play this? They are westernized Japanese, but grief's a funny thing. We should speak our condolences. Remember Tomoko. I've met her. Oh, shit. You wanted to come. <laughs> Antonius. Oh, Ishi-san. Jujino Michel Des. Mr. Hoop. <laughs> Mrs. Oishi, good to meet you. Oh, and, and this is Yoko. Little car. Little car. And this is Tomoko and her friends, dressed up for Yoyogi Park. They look amazing. That's Haruko's influence. Tomoko was usually very modest. Haruko. Haruko Suji. Yes. A live wire. Was. She died in a car with a boy. But you know that, Mr. Hooper. Um. But you don't know what it is to walk into your own home and smell death. Old death. See your child. Twisted. Frozen. Fists full of her own ripped hair. Eyes staring into hell. I'm sorry. Uh, I better take Yoko. Uh, guess the bedroom. Left. Up the stairs. Thank you. Look to your child. Of course. But upstairs. What are you doing? Mitchell opens a different door. A dead girl's perfume. Cosmetics. Uh, hairbrush. That pampered hair. Torn out at the roots. The mirror is draped. Reflection. The only sign of her passing. Like the wind there is in that car. He stands where she stood. Facing darkness. At her back. Unimaginable horror. What's this? Mitch, what are you doing? I've got something. Well, show me. Look, a member's card. Pacific Resorts Club. Who's Mr. Awata? The biker's dad, must be. He borrowed his dad's card and somehow it ended up here. Oh, well, well, a badass boyfriend. Not such a modest girl after all. <laughs> Yoko. <laughs> oh, baby, Where baby you? girl. Where you? Is she here? <laughs> oh, she's terrified. She was fast asleep a moment ago. She's and she... up. Oh, come on, it's... baby girl. It's okay. Something on top of the water. Oh, 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 oh baby, it, it's... It's just a mask. It's a silly mask. There. No more nasty devil. He's gone bye-bye. Come bye-bye. She. Hey. The mask, it's Hanya. A woman turned demon through torture. Yeah, well, Yoko didn't know that for all she knows is a Pokemon, so why scream? Well, same reason a dog that's never seen a snake attacks a hose. Some primal level, our baby girl recognized evil. Come on, Thursday, the 22nd of October. There is only one Pacific resort near Tokyo, the mountain spa in Hakone. On the 29th of August, Tomoko and her three friends stayed in log cabin B4. Tonight, Michiru is on his own. Where's that bloody turn? Yeah. Oh, well, this can't be right. Log cabin village. Parking left. He drives beyond the hotel to the cabins at the edge of the wood. Typical. 
typical Japan, even rustic as high tech. Right. TV. Log fire, electric. Sofa bed, balcony facing. Whatever's out there. Kitchen diner. Uh, huh. Bedroom one. Talk too loud. Turn mm. on every light. Nothing. Uh, huh. Bathroom. Hello? Is someone there? A rat. A snake. It's just the wind. There is no wind. No broadband, no mobile signal, no Wi-Fi, just the DVD. And no VHS. Mm. A tape. They've been erased. Those little sh shits erased them. It's a joke. It's a sick joke. Hello? Keep it down. Saturday, the 24th of October. Five days remaining. <coughs> Tony and Yoko are asleep. How come you've got this old kit anyway? Well, that's Tony. A lot of her theatre archives are still on VHS. Oh, yeah, she's academic, I forget. Ruji, are you sure you want to... I mean, the tape... Kid for kids? Well... I haven't been to the cabin. I can be the control group. Take a seat. Mitchell doesn't need to. No. No, you're all right. The tape is part of him now. From the balcony, he watches his friend press play. 
sees the flicker reshape him, lit from below, a demon, lit from above, a soul of infinite sadness. Ryuji Takayama, the one person in the world he could sacrifice to save himself. So? <sighs> yeah, that's some dark shit. Mm. Mm. Objectively, the image is a pretty tame, but it's so alive. But it didn't make you spill my guts up? Mm. No. Mitch. Oh, oh, are you smoking? Oh, uh, Mrs. Hooper, I presume. I'm Ryuji. Yes, and I know who you are. Come on, join us. We can rewind. Uh, no. No. Why? What is it? Porn? Hmm? Who is it? Unknown caller. Don't answer. <laughs> don't pick up. Why not? Just don't. Hitch. Kate, we've got the message. Oh, no, she's awake. Oh. That's good. Oh, that's great. Looks like I'm Nick Young. Five days for me. Seven for you. So, question number one. Who made this tape? It starts with the inception. You will be consumed by the lost. Watch till the end. You will be consumed by the lost. Which means? Bad news. Cut to a volcano. That eruption could give us a place and a date. What does the kanji mean? Yeah, man. Mountain. No, it's not very specific. Followed by the old woman. She's talking backwards. Yeah. Which leads us to the rape. We can see his face. We could identify him. Oh, he'd have covered his tracks. So I'll tackle the volcano. You tackle the old woman. Okay. I need to pull out that tape. I can make you a copy. Right now. Great. Mitch. Not me. What was that? With the phones? I can't explain. But it's to do with Tomoko. Yeah. I don't like Ruchi. No, I don't. He, he plays games. But I'm glad you're not alone this time. Uh -huh. So sorry. Mm. Hey, what's the matter? Mm. Shh. Please don't yeah. ask. Just be with me. I need you. I am with you. In the beat of your blood. Monday, the 26th of October. Three days remaining. Takayama! Ryuji! Uh, Jesus, what happened to you? Uh, don't ask. I won't. Where did you keep the coffee, Casanova? Uh, uh, yeah. So, while you were partying... I identified the mountain. It's Mount Mahara on Oshima Island. The big eruptions were in 56, in 86, and the most recent in 1990 here. Rocket fuel. Uh, well, that fit with the old woman. It's an island dialect. You translated it? I did my homework. My! Sensei? A young woman in white. Distress is the shabby room. Mitch, this is my Takano. The only person who understands my lectures. Maicha, kochira boku no shinyu de Mitchell Hooper san desu. Mr. Hooper, a pleasure to finally meet you. Her radiant smile. 
ignites darkness. Oh, my pleasure. We are watching the video, Mai. Then I shall go. I'll be back in an hour to make us lunch. Ah, じゃあ、ポカルセットも買ってきてくれる。Shut your mouth, bitch. The worms will crawl in. What do they see in you? Same thing as you. You told her about the tape? You haven't told Tony?、Mm. <laughs> right.、Oh, Ryuji, I. Again, nausea tries to eject the dead thing that's climbed into his body. You need to see this. <laughs> Water play with demons lay. Watch this. Black screen. And another here. Yeah, recording for. No. Hang on. There. What's that? Fringe? And where is it in relation to you? Like here, right in front of me. So close, you don't see it. Ryuji fixes his gaze, blinks once. Eyelashes? You, you're saying each black screen is a blink? This film wasn't made by a machine. We're seeing as she saw. It was made by a mind. Just a few hours drive, Mitch. I said no! Then back in the day! A day! I've got three, and I'm not spending any of them in a psych museum! But what about me? I'm going home to my family! Hello? Tony? 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 It's powerful stuff. You watched it. The way it immerses you in that hypnotic sensory experience, layers of reality, it's very, very clever. You watch the curse impels engagement, but without instructions, you have to resolve the narrative yourself. And there's the phone call. Oh, Jesus, Tony! Where did you get it? How? Where? From Ruji? Tomoko. Tomoko. Her and three friends, they watched it, and. Seven days later, they died. So, what are the instructions? We don't know. They taped over them. And you brought this home to us and left it in my machine? Yoko saw it. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know, did I? Shh, it's okay, come on. Shh, no. shh. How was I meant to know? No, no. This, she was just sitting on my lap. It was just pictures. <laughs> You've seen it too before us, so that means you. How long? Oh, Thursday night. Ten past ten. Time's up. What are we going to do, Mitch? Whatever it takes. Tuesday, the 27th of October. Two days remaining. Why are we here? The Memorial Archive of Professor Tetsuzo Miura. We are looking for the person who made the tape. Deceased. We can do that online. The archive isn't digitized. We have to go through the box files. We are looking for a young woman. Where now is it, Dan? Probably from Oshima Island. Probably. Trust me.、Mm. These files are the biggest psychic photography experiment ever conducted. These, um, these little scratches on the negatives were made by minds.、Mm. Just like our video. 
The day stretches across the room. The calm of old dust settles. Professor Miller believed the will is strongest at birth and death. Maybe the video was the last thing our girl did. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping for a happy ending. Why did you leave England? Mm -hmm. For Tony's work. Not because of that other girl? No. I was never a suspect. It was the press put me on trial because... You knew where to find the body. I followed a hunch and got lucky. Where there's a dying will, there's a way. We could test that theory. I could throttle you right now. You want to know my dying will? What? To watch the extinction of mankind from the top of a mountain while ejaculating into a hole in the ground again and again. <laughs> and yours? To protect Yoko. Ah. Your genetic afterlife. It's not about me. That's the point. When you become a parent, you'll understand. And when you face death, you'll understand. Afternoon folds into evening. <sighs> we are only halfway through. We've wasted a day on this! A whole day of Yoko's life! My life! She's here. She's got to be here. And I'm not leaving until we find her. Looks like she's found you. Yeah. Well, let me see. Oshima Island. August 29th, 1958. Sarako Yamamura. Age 10. Yeah. And he has a psychic photo. A complete, beautifully executed kanji. Yama. Mountain. The same as a video. Sarako Yamamura. Oshima Island. Here we come. Wednesday, the 28th of October, one day remaining. At Port Atami, the sea is calm, but beyond the bay, the ferry rolls and the sky turns black. What if the instruction is something impossible? If we have to kill someone? Then we do it. But would that break the curse for Yoko and Tony or just us? That's a good question, my friend. The island blooms, the volcano shrouded in cloud. Ruji, if I don't make it and you find the instructions, will you? Of course. Thanks. On the island, a small timber house shattered against the storm. Anatawa Yamamura Sadako san no itoko desu yo ne. Sadako Yamamura's home. Ah, Kanjuro, Haha Oya, Shizuko wa Uranda, Uba san da. What's she saying? She's Sadako's cousin. Their mothers were sisters. She looks like the old woman in the video, doesn't she? Ah, with that fat mouth, you'll be lucky to get old. You speak English? Ah, you think stupid island woman backward? I'm sorry. Could you tell us about Sadako? Most people want to hear about her mother. Her mother? She was famous, don't you know? Psychic. They did tests in Tokyo. Big show. In the bowl, the skeptics willing her to fail. Sarako watching, unable to help. Look at me, Mitch. She's got under your skin, I see. And after the test failed, the mob turned, called her a fraud. She came back to the island, thin as a bedsheet. 
wasn't just her mind got probed in Tokyo. Oh, no. <laughs> she threw herself into the volcano. Oh, left Sadako with Granny. That woman on a tape. Old bitch. But Sadako was more than a match for her. Was she beautiful? As a Yuki Onna. All the boys wanted her. She tormented them, the snow whore. Swam naked in the moonlight, always just out of reach. Misude Asobutu, Oniga Deru. In water play with demon slay. But one of the boys caught her, and seven days later he was dead. After that, her name was Fox. Ran weeping back to Tokyo. To her father? No, no. He'd gone wild in the mountains in some sanatorium. Had to pull him out of his own asshole with forceps. Nice. And Sadako? That was the last we heard of her. Until today. Do you, um... Do you think she could still be alive? What do you think? Right, so I need to check births, deaths, marriages, and maybe lab registry. Yeah, yeah, could you get over there tonight? If I can get a babysitter. Yuka's been sick. She has a fever. What? Listen, you have to hurry. There's a typhoon warning. They've closed the airport. Well, the ferry port's still open. We're on our way there now. Oh, I haven't left. Mitch, I need you with her. Tony? Tony? What? Kaya? Shit! What, what was happening? They've closed the ferry port. We need to find a hotel for the night. Dawn. Thursday the 29th of October. 15 hours to go. Tony, put her on speaker. You okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I started with the births, but Sadako was never registered. She's a non-person. So what do we do? I don't know. We can't just give up. What about the man on the tape? The rapist? The kid from the island? Chika. No. Her father? Chika. No. Who then? Mitch, listen to your gut. What? Like he did with the other girl. No, this is different. This isn't my world. Yama. Oh, I don't even speak Japanese! She's speaking to you now? Yama. What's she saying? Yama. She's saying... Mountain. Not volcano, mountain. <laughs> oh, God! We've been idiots! Where did this start? Hakone Mountain Spa. Sadako didn't vanish. She went there. The mineral baths. Well, it used to be a sanatorium. Of course. Sadako wasn't sick. Her father was. What did Yuna say? He went wild in the mountains. Sadako was visiting him. Listen. The wind's dropping. I can see blue sky. The road is clear. The sea calm. The ferry waiting. Nagao. Sorry, uh, I can't hear you. Who? Naga or Dr. Naga. He is a practice right on, um, in Port Atami. He was a doctor at the sanatorium. He may remember something. <laughs> What did you do to Sadako Yamamura? <laughs> Yamamura-san? Mitch! It's him, the guy from the tape! I know, but I'm not sure he speaks English. <laughs> After all these years, so you do understand. We came here to ask about the sanatorium, but... We saw what you did. How? Sandako showed us. That's not possible, isn't it? 
You're not the police. I don't have to tell you anything. We could call them. Would you like that? So, <sighs> let's start at the beginning. Her father was a patient. He had tuberculosis. It was hot that day. So hot. I came out to tell her he died. I was young. After all that darkness and death. Sunlight. A cotton dress, revealing a beautiful shadow. She burned through me. My pulse was pounding. I was already infected, but I didn't know. With TB, small pox. But by the sixties, it had been eradicated, hadn't it? I was the last small pox case in Japan.、Hmm. She walked with me. Impossibly beautiful, Sadako <laughs> Yamamura. I follow her. There is a stone circle. A well. Nodo ga kawakimashita. Mou kawa ka. But there is no rope. She looks up at me. I see. Down her dress, those perfect milk-white breasts, and something snaps inside. What are you doing? Stop! 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 That scream in my head, her inside me. I knew she would kill me. So I strangled her. I threw her body into the well. In water play with demons lay. What have I done? Something unspeakable. So that's Ruji's plan. Find some abandoned well, dig up her remains. Yeah, he's in a DIY store now, buying ropes. But what if he's wrong? What? After what she's been through, does she really want to be laid to rest, or does she want revenge? So, Tony, I don't have time for this. Yeah, I know, I know. But if you're wrong, if you leave me alone with this, I will kill him. Yeah, I will. I will do. I will do anything, anything in the world to save our child. Thursday, the twenty ninth of October. Five hours remaining. Mitchell stands beneath the balcony of cabin B four. The stilted legs are boxed with shattering. He peers through a crack into the void. Ryuji, have you found it? Please help me. They worm into the space. One, two, three. <laughs> Well, well. Cold, putrid air coils upwards. Down here. She's down there. Darkness thick as oil. The rope drops its length. You go in. One of us has to. You, you, you come. One small step for man. Ah! 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 Ah!
There's water! It's deep! We've got some bedding to do! And uh... Oh shit! What? What is it? There are scratch marks! Scratch marks up to the wall! She was alive. He didn't kill her. He did! He infected her. She died down there of smallpox. Shit. Find her, Ryuji! Yeah! Uh, uh, the mud. Uh, the mud. Always mud. And darkness. Okay! Hold up! <clears throat> Decay. <clears throat> Worms. The bucket rises. Shining flesh. Consumed by the lust. Day turns to night. Water to slurry. To rocks. And finally. Earth. <laughs> okay! Hold up! Down there. You're no use up here. Oh, please. You've got one hour. One hour! No, I can't. I can't. I can't again. I can't. Stop climbing! Or oh, I'll throw you in and shut the lid! <laughs> Mitchell follows the rope of the teeth of hell. Torchlight bounces. Every stone a demon face. <laughs> Something smooth and hollow. Flesh clothes the skull. Life returns to empty sockets. Dark lashes blink. Slowly. Beautiful Sadako Yamamura turns her face between his hands and smiles. I've been waiting for you. Her pulse in him, as silk hair binds and milk skin, undoes him. Helpless, he falls to his knees and ejaculates into the grave. Mitch! Yes? Yeah. It's Tempestin! We did it! The deadline passed! We did it! Friday, the 30th of October. Saruji was right. She just wanted you to find her. We dug up a murder scene. I have to give a statement, and then there's uh, Dr. Nagao. Oh, Mitch. So, I'll be stuck here a while. That's okay. Are you all right? Yeah, just tired. But it's over. You too. Mitch! Taxi's here! Are you sure you don't mind? You're bailing out. No, of course not. The news desk legal rep's coming. She'll deal with the police. News desk, huh? Yeah, my lifestyle exile may be over. Congratulations. So, it looks like is this where we finally kiss? <laughs> uh, no. But I did want to say, you know, thank you. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. 
Raise a glass to us tomorrow at 10 to 12. In honor of my deadline. Will do. Friday, the 30th of October. Ryuji is sleeping, book in hand. He doesn't see the words on the page shimmer. Creep. Coil black as oil onto the floor. 11.50. You here? Rags cling to shattered bones. Waterweed hair weeps. Fever mad eyes blaze. Oh God. Look what they did to you. But why? Think. Rewind. The start. The tape. My copy. My copy. So that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too late. Look in the mirror. See. <gasps> My face. My face. He peels lips from teeth. My skin. Skin from flesh. <laughs> flesh from bone. <laughs> Until there is nothing left but eyes. <laughs> Ryuji! Wake up! Ryuji! Mr. Hooper. Where is he? Ryuji! Ryuji! He's gone. They have already taken the body. His face... Understand. We did what she wanted. Tony. No, 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 Mr. no, 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 Wait. I have to go. Wait. No. You must think clearly. You survived. So what did you do that was different? I don't know. Nothing. He was at my side every step. When I found him, this book was in his hand. Sex and the symbiotic retrovirus. Read it. <sighs> Retroviruses play an important role in viral infection, sex determination, and evolution itself. Replication. So that's it. What I did this week and Ryuji didn't, I made a copy of the tape and I burst it on. A virus pushed to extinction, fused with a woman's fury at mankind. Saturday, the 31st of October. Mitchell has digitized the video. Now with one click, it can be copied, emailed. So easy. Even a child can do it. Two copies. Uploaded. Transmitted to two new hosts. But when those copies are received... Click. Download. Share. In seconds. People live. People die. It goes viral. The ring spreads. With replication.
We have all. But if I just turn the car around, it ends here. If I let my wife and daughter die. Anything in the world to save your child. Oh, shit! In his rear view mirror, Mitchell watches black clouds coil over Tokyo. Koji Suzuki was adapted for radio by Anita Sullivan. Mitchell was played by Matthew Gravel. Tony by Eve Miles. Ryuji by Akira Koyayama. The narrator by Naoko Mori. Dr. Nagao by Masashi Fujimoto. Mai by Yuriri Naka. And Yuna by Heather Emanuel. It was a BBC Cymru Wales production, directed by James Robinson.